Hello, Michael. How are you? I'm good. You good? Well, I'd say it's, it's really good to be able to sit and interview you because this is such a dream come true. Um, all right, so we're live. Uh, Michael, very nice to <laughs> finally be here to interview you. <laughs> um, you just, you just, we just went through a whole series of screenings of Snowfall. How does it feel to be on the FX network doing this, this series? Mm. Interesting. Everything in its own time, in its right time. We've been hustling for how many years? How long have we been doing this? Since 2000? No, since 2000? No, since 1997? No, 2000 something. Beginning of the 1997, I think it was, because I wasn't in school. I I'd, I'd finished grad school by the time the, the millennium came around. So, 1997, we've been hustling. And, um, and um, what is this, 2017? And this is my first premiere experience promoting a show and all of that, you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting journey, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, I, having been where I was watching your career, I, I can say that I can securely say I'm extremely proud of the growth that you, you have and just the journey you've been on. I've been taking notes and following you this whole time, so <clears throat> I'm quite proud of you. Are there any moments in your character, Sissy, where you, Michael, step into the character and say, this is actually my life, so I can do this easily? Um, no. I mean, there are a lot of similarities to to our lives, but I, I mean, apart from, you know, it's coming out of my body, it's coming out of my mouth, it's coming out of my being, and there was something about my spirit that was different from the spirits of other of all the other women that, that auditioned for the role, and, and that got me the part. So there's something about my energy that spoke to the creators of this. So yes, my energy is in it, but I don't bring, I don't bring my life into this into this story at all. Sissy has a different flow. She has a different rhythm, um, and um, I, I, you know, I, I, I say this all the time, and it really is true. No matter how many times I say it, I really see myself as a conduit for the truth that is being that is being asked to be told and in order to be a conduit i think you have to you you the ego mind the person has to step out of the way and just let the truth flow through you and that's what i do um, i'm not really trying to bring myself to anything okay so it, it, it must be a technique that you use to be able to transform into these characters. For the young actors and the actresses that, that are in Jamaica that look to you, look, as, look to you as a, as a role model, um, what, what type of a, a technical advice could you give them for stepping into a character? Um, do your best to... Um get very truthful, get very um, basic. Um, I'm not a fan of technique. Um, I, I think sometimes it can get in the way and it can put on layers on one's performance that is not necessary. Um, no disrespect to the skills that many people have learned over the years and myself too, that get you to the understanding of, of the part that you're playing but I don't I'm not a fan of relying on the method or whatever 
whatever um, skill it may be. Um, just, just, just get very truthful, just get very basic and, and allow yourself the vulnerability that is necessary to tell the person's story, whatever it is. Hmm. So, so then for all the years that you're, you've been going through school and um, you've gotten all this direction about how to do whatever um, when it comes to acting, are you saying then that all of that uh, tech, all of that uh, instruction comes together in a natural way to, to, you're saying to bring it together in a natural way instead of paying attention to the actual technique but let it come out naturally as something that is a part of you? All my training taught me to let go. Mm. That is what all my training taught me to do. Um, um, to tune in to the moment, the person, the, the experience you're having in the now, um, and let go, let go of your ideas on what it should look like, and allow yourself to live in the vibration of what is. Trust the work on the page, the, the words on the page, and step out of the way so that the work can come through. Mm. What's it like working with John Singleton? Hmm. John Singleton is intense and he's fantastic and he's intense. <laughs> um, he is, I call him a painter. Um, he is Matisse or Picasso or um, Van Gogh. He has created this masterpiece and we, the actors, are the, the directors at times um, when he's not directing um, are brought in to support that painting that has already been painted because he's already seen it you can look in his eyes you see his direction you see where he's taking you and you you clearly well i understood oh he already has the picture drawn he already has the painting painted i need to catch up to him you know, and, and uh, it is a perfect example of, of um, letting go because you walk in with an, an idea of who, um, w what you want to do and how the scene should go. And then, and then John comes along and says, okay, I want you to do this here and I want you to do this here and I want you to do just, I mean, he's, he deals with every minute detail. And... Um, and you're like, oh, but that wasn't how I... Yes. Again, you let go of your head and you just step into it and you say yes. And it is amazing when you say yes, truly from your being, from the core of who you are, say yes. Amazing what kind of magic happens. Amazing, yeah. And that's, that's definitely the word that I would think um, when, when watching the, the premiere um, of Snowfall. It is such a riveting program. Um, how, does it, how does it match up to any of the experiences you've had before on television? Um, I, have had, I have had the pleasure of, of, of um, I won't say many, but I, I certainly have had the pleasure of, of several. Um, uh, deep, meaningful moments, um, artistically and 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 personally, um, uh, on, in 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 my career. Thank God, you know. Um, I've worked on several different shows, and you know, little bits here and there, and 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 I. Um, I have, I've had these moments, these scenes that just take you to a different place and every time, every time it amazes me, um, amazes me the, 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 the per, you know, I just, uh, you, you become a fly on the wall. It, it, it truly is for me 
an out-of-body experience. So no matter how many times it happens, it is magical for the first time, like it's not ever happened before. Hmm. That's amazing. That's, that's, now that's, that's a good answer there. I like that because it's for the, for the youngster who is looking into it, you're saying then it doesn't, it's not monotonous because you are starting fresh every time. It's a brand new experience every time. It's a brand new story. It's a brand new moment every time, if you allow it to be. It's a choice. Or you can, you know, bring, you can bring, you know, a sort of stereotypical understanding of it and do it by the numbers and then you get the, that kind of performance. But if you really allow yourself, if you really step out of the way and allow the moment, the truth of the moment to, to uh, happen, it's brand new every time. Cool. Now, what are the chances of Jamaica seeing you in a Jamaican film? Um, write it. Write it. Create it. And call me. I like that. I like that. Yeah. That, that is the greatest answer I've ever heard. That is good. Because um, we need people like yourself up in your caliber to, to work with um, and to recognize uh, Jamaican scripts and directors and such. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is great. I want to thank yeah. you so much for for sitting with us? Let me just say, Jamaica has, um, you know, the, the look on my face just now is because Jamaica already has it. Jamaica, Jamaica has that talent. It, it, it exists right now. Um, um, and um, um, to make sure that, that the look on my face isn't misunderstood, um, I Jamaica, in my opinion, already has a tremendous um, body of talent um, in writers, directors, um, actors, and I. But the reason I chose to pursue my career in America as opposed to coming back to Jamaica and pursuing my career is because I grew up in the '70s watching my father and Aunt Leone and his colleagues do their work at, and I think at a time when Jamaican art, Jamaican plays were at its best um, and I don't mind saying that and uh, the one thing that always disappointed me was the the, the way actors were and, and I'm sure artists of uh, from from any media were treated in, in Jamaica you know um, it, it's a tough life to live to be an artist in Jamaica and I saw that struggle in in Jamaica and I saw through my through my parents and extended family and and I chose to to make a different way for myself in America where I could be a working actor and I could I could earn a living as an actor of course everybody struggles there's no doubt about it but it was important for me to be in, in, a, in, in a world that respected the art and respected the livelihood of the artists and supported that. Um, so write it, bring it come, and bring come the respect for the writers, for the directors, and for the artists so that we can put on a good show. We can make a good film where everybody is supported. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. And again, thank you for sitting with us and having this short interview. And we're going to use it to empower people. So God bless, and we'll see you next time. Proud of you as well, Charles. Proud of the journey that you are on. And proud of the yeses that you are allowing in your life after many years of, of following the rules and doing it in the manner that was instructed or what certainly what society told you finally broke away and did your own thing and I am incredibly proud of you and excited for you and for the country for Jamaica um, because of what I know that you're going to bring to the country you're going to I, I feel this is um, 
a, a renaissance, a, a, a new beginning for Jamaican people, coming into a new generation of understanding um, art and, and the world and, and culture and what, what this generation of Jamaicans are going to be bringing to, to Jamaica and the world. You're a part of that and I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much.